I asked Daniel about teachers who just weren't comfortable with the idea of recording their lessons. Here's what he had to say. People are against this. Um, I, I, they don't want to record their lessons sometimes because they're not comfortable enough. And I, I don't see why one wouldn't be comfortable enough to, to share what it is they share with the students. If anything at all, it is a way or a way for you to evaluate yourself and maybe with it you can improve yourself. And and I have done that over time. I, I go back to my recordings and then I listen to myself or watch the lesson, how it was presented. And every now and then I, I see where I could improve or things that I may want to rearrange. And I, I did that this session. I did not present the statistics course the same way I presented it last session or the previous sessions. I moved things around and I saw that it was better. They were able to relate to it more. At the beginning, I, I collected data about my students. So I collected their heights, their, their weights, and how long it takes them to get to school and how much they spend per week. And we were able to build things around their numbers, which made them more interested. But previously, I didn't do that. And I think if you record your lessons and every now and then you listen to them yourself you will learn something from it so it's not only good for the students but it is good for the teachers as well and if you're still not comfortable to to share your recordings i think using google drive or a platform like that allows you to restrict it to your students so that when you are comfortable then you can share it with the world so I think every teacher can actually try this. It doesn't have to be the entire course. Choose a part you're comfortable with, try it out, and then the following session, try maybe another topic. And then with time, you get comfortable with it as I did because I have done this over, over I think, three sessions or so, over a year and a half. And that is why I'm comfortable enough. And still, my recordings are not on YouTube. Not that I don't want them there yet, and I think that's what I'm going to do in the next uh, school year, but... I have grown in this that I'm comfortable enough to put it out there, okay? So um, anyone can actually just get started. You, you don't need to prepare so much for these recordings because you're essentially taping what you usually do in class.